Randy, thank you for inviting me to speak here today. Uh, it's a true honor to speak about Roy and what he meant to not only myself, but to everybody that he, he played with. Uh, I had the privilege of playing with Roy for four years, and everyone here loved Roy. They knew him in various and different aspects of his life. As a teammate, I saw every day what it took to be a man among boys. Roy's relentless work ethic, discipline, and determination was just a small piece of his mastery of baseball. I've told this story a few times over the past several days, but I'm going to tell it again because I think it really embodies what Roy was all about. It all happened here in this clubhouse. First time I met Roy. It was the first day for me of spring training, and I wanted to get in early. I wanted to show my teammates that I was, I was ready to go. I remember walking in with, with Brian Schneider. It was 5.45 in the morning. The sun wasn't out yet, assuming we would be the first people here. I was definitely wrong. Roy was, was sitting at the, the table, almost finished with a, a huge breakfast. And he had his workout clothes on, but they were, they were soaking wet. And I was thought to myself, there's no way. There's no way he already got a workout in. So I said, hey, uh, Roy, did, uh, did, was it raining when you, when you walked in this morning? He kind of let out a chuckle, stood up, put out his hand, said, no, I just, just finished my workout. I knew right then and there, this guy was the real deal. Um, and, I, and I loved it. Um, as we all know, Roy had many gifts on the field, but in my opinion, his biggest gift came off the field. He had the effortless ability to deflect praise onto others, something that in today's game is tough to do. This trait brought out the best in his teammates, and we really, truly wanted to fight as hard as we could for him. John Middleton touched on this a little bit earlier, but he threw two no-hitters in, in one year. Uh, won a perfect game, won a no-hitter, and it was the playoff no-hitter, after thinking about the way he addressed it after the game, clearly the media wanted to talk to him a lot. Hey, Roy, wow, that was amazing. You threw a, threw a no-hitter in, in, in the playoffs. Well, you know, what was working for you? And as we all know, we watched it a lot over the years. Roy would deflect that attention. You know, Chooch, Chooch caught, called a great game. We were really on the same page. Uh, we just really worked well together. Okay, yeah, I know, Roy, but tell me, like, was it your cutter? Was it your curveball? What was really working? You know, the defense, the defense behind me was just amazing. They were making plays left and right. Um, and the reporter said, yeah, well, Roy, they didn't only hit maybe two balls on the barrel, so the defense, yeah, they played okay, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. Well, you know, you know, our pitching coach, Rich Duby, we really put a good game plan together and, and really, really worked, made them off balance. Right there, that, that tells me what Roy is, is all about. Um, I believe that a person's true character shows itself during the most difficult times. Now, Roy didn't have many difficult times, considering he was the best pitcher in baseball. But the few that he had, it didn't change who he was, what he believed in, or how he went, his, went about his business. He was a professional, he was a gentleman, and he was a true athlete throughout his entire career. As a husband and a father, I understand the demands that this career puts on him our families. We can't do this alone, and I'm a firm believer that without our family's support, we would not be able to achieve our ultimate goals. Braden and Ryan, we talked a lot about you guys. You guys were a little bit shorter back then. We were, we were talking about you. Um, your dad was the best teammate I've ever played with, the most fierce competitor I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm sure all your lives you've heard people praise your dad and tell you how proud they were of him. But throughout the conversations that I had with him, 
He was more proud of what you guys have accomplished than what he ever accomplished on the field. Randy, Braden, Ryan, thank you for sharing him with us.